Today marks one year since the coronavirus pandemic was declared a worldwide pandemic. The virus, which was first identified in Wuhan, China, swept across the world, killing millions and shutting down businesses worldwide. CBS 4's Ian Lee has more. Uh, happy New Year! When China welcomed 2020 with elaborate celebrations, a deadly virus was spreading behind the scenes. Critics say Chinese authorities worked harder to suppress information about COVID-19 than to contain it. The World Health Organization maintains it issued early warnings, but countries didn't listen. Yes, maybe we need to shout louder, uh, but maybe uh, some people need hearing it. It took months for the WHO to declare a pandemic, and by then, it was already too late. The virus hit Italy early and hard, triggering the first nationwide lockdown outside of China. Italian hospitals were overwhelmed as morgues overflowed. 40% of the residents in the village of Nembro died from the coronavirus within a month. Ciao. A year later, nursing homes are allowing visits again, but it's not the same. Some countries learned from Italy's tragedy and locked down quickly. Australia and New Zealand largely averted disaster and have returned to some semblance of normalcy. While other nations waited and paid the price. Here in the UK, more than 125,000 people are dead while the country endures its third lockdown. I am deeply sorry for every uh, life that has been lost. And of course, as, as, uh, as Prime Minister, I take full responsibility for everything that the government uh, has done. Sweden rolled the dice without any restrictions, hoping for herd immunity, only later to admit it was a mistake. Salvation from the virus eventually came in little bottles. The UK and Israel now lead the world in vaccinations, but much of Europe, Asia, Africa and South America struggle with shortages of shots. Health officials warn that until everyone is vaccinated, the dangers of the pandemic can't be cured. Ian Lee, CBS News, London.